Hello, and welcome back to Mistcraft with Maroka. Before we jump into what this is and why we are here, I'll bring it on to speed with a little backstory. So, Mistcraft with Maroka was the first series I ever made on YouTube, and it's now woefully out of date, and it's pretty awful because it was the first series I ever made, but nonetheless, people occasionally ask me to bring it up to date or carry on with it or do something with it, you know. So, I suppose here we are. So, Miscraft with Maroka, the new version. So, I'm in a bit of a custom mod pack here. It's not based on any pre existing ones, I've just thrown together a bunch of mods that I kind of liked. So, obviously, we're in a non standard biome here. We have biomes of plenty, which adds lots of alternative worlds, um, areas of the world to visit. We're in a magical forest, which is full of witches. I'm sure there's probably some lurking around. It has been a problem. I wish I'd set up camp somewhere else, but it's too late for that now. So there's lots and lots and lots of biomes, and Miscraft, the main focus of this, which allows us to create alternative dimensions and foreign and exotic lands to visit, can pull all the biomes from Biomes O'Plenty and use those in its world creation tools, and therefore we end up with lots more variety, and it's gonna be fun. I've also got, well, that, there's a weird lamp hanging outside my house, so that's Bibliocraft. Bibliocraft also plays nice with Mistcraft, adds a lot more stuff like this disc rack, and a tool rack, and all sorts of toys and things like that. We've got these bookshelves and other shelves and things. It's just decorative, and it works with Mistcraft, so why not? Hovering outside my window is a mod that's completely unrelated, but I freaking love it just for exploration. It's really cool. It's Archimedes Ships, which is something I played around with way back when in the day, back in beta I think it was, uh, back when, you know, it wasn't anywhere near as complicated as it is now, you could just throw anything together and you call it a ship and it would fly around and it would do awesome stuff. Uh, now you actually have to build something properly, so this is loosely based on the Spire from Guns of Rickus Online, and based on the way I've designed it, it is buggy as anything. I think it's probably just that bit of metal that's stopping me getting out of it properly, I guess. If I remove that, it'd probably work a lot better. But, no, I've built it badly, and so it shall stay. So that, that's my little airship for getting around. You can also build sort of proper ship ships, but boats to get around on this lake. I've got a lake, I should build one, but no. Anyway, I've got my little dock up here for getting up to it as well. In addition, we have not enough items over here. All these items, there are not enough of them. And normally on something like Feed the Beast, which is probably your best bet for getting Mistcraft, it's probably the easiest way of getting a hold of it. A Feed the Beast pack, you'd normally end up with like 20-30 pages of right items and it'll tell you how to make all of them, how to make these different lamps and whatever the heck a sacrificial focus is. And linking books and things and all these different things from the different mods. And it tells you how to make all of them, which is going to be bloody useful because there are too many things. But, yeah, that's, that's about it for mods, I think. What have we got? We've got Mistcraft, Bibliocraft, Archimedes Ships, uh, biomes are plenty and not enough items. Also got Optifine, but that's more for me than for you. Although you do benefit because the video is a little bit smoother for it, so that's good. So now we should jump into Mistcraft. And I don't know why I brought you down here, I've already built everything I need to show you, but oh, this is my little workshop, so I'll show you here anyway. So, using not enough items I can press R and bring up a recipe for any of these things. So the first thing you'll want is this writing desk. Here we have a writing desk, and the recipe for it, it is five of any bits of wood. There's like bamboo and willow, these are all from Biomes of Plenty. A glass bottle and a feather will make you a writing desk. i tell you what, let's not work down here. Let's work upstairs where I can place these and create a little bit of a writing study thing. Here's a good place for it. So let's pop this down. Our writing table looks like a crafting bench on top and a bookcase on the side, and it is too long and is placed very much like a bed, although it is twice as tall. So that's your writing desk, and it is horrifyingly confusing. You got all the basically the side is for storage of things. You can store lots of pages that can go into your books over here. Uh, I can put ink over here at the side. I've got one ink file on me. I'll show you how to make one of those. As a matter of fact, I've got the ingredients, so I can show you how to make one myself. But when you pop an ink vial in there, it gives you a glass bottle back and fills up this bar at the side with black ink. 1000 millibuckets, which is a unit typically used quite frequently in Feed the Beast. If you're familiar with any of those mob packs, you'll be familiar with millibuckets, I suspect. It's just a thousand of one bucket of a liquid. But if you wish to make more ink, 
a water bottle or indeed a bucket and an empty a bucket of water and an empty glass bottle will also work and two ink sacks completely shapeless recipe so boop, there we go we've got another ink ink file if that was full of water i could also do this but it is not full of water so i can't do that simple enough really so what other tools do we have we have got a just have one somewhere got now I picked them up early, but they don't seem to have gone into my inventory. Oh, I may have to make some more stuffs. Okay. At any rate, we've got places to put books. We have a lectern. Uh, there's nowhere in here that's going to look good, I don't think. But it looks like that. And it is made like that. It's like, a, it's like a set of steps with a stick on the end, and you get two for your troubles. And I'm going to take that down, because I don't like that there. Your other option for placing books is a book stand which it does functions exactly the same, it's just a place to, for a book to sit so it is safe and secure and nice and happy and it looks like that and I am totally missing all the other stuff that I needed to make my world go around down here so let's see if I can't find where everything ended up seems like everything broke huh, I did make, I, I swear to god I did make a load of stuff before we started this interesting that it's vanished let's, I need some glass bottles so let's chug some water just to empty that up okay need wood I've got wood I need stone I've got stone I need some iron so let's grab three of those because I want that what we are going to need is a mixer which looks a little like this oop, oop, oop. and a glass bottle in the middle and there we go we've got an ink mixer we are also going to need uh, I forget what it's called. What is it called? It is a, a book binder. Of course it is. It's the book binder, which is made with the iron. That's why I got the iron out. Looks a little like that. Let's go place these upstairs and have a look at them. See what we can do with them. I'm not sure where the other ones vanished to. That's a little strange. At any rate, our uh, book binder sits there. It's a little un uninteresting texture-wise. Uh, I hope that gets changed in the future because honestly I don't much like that but at any rate we can put leather in there and we can put pages along the bottom and we can name it up top we can call a book whatever we like and it will create a finished book at the side in the, on the right hand side so we don't want that anymore we've done that let's put the ink mixer down the ink mixer is another thing we want so ink the ink mixer uses a lot of ink Put the ink vial in there, it fills up this blot in the middle and gives you the bottle back on the side. Uh, chances are we're going to need some more ink, I think we're going to go through it. But these are the three main tools we're going to use. There are a couple of other items you can make but they're a bit more advanced and I don't actually have materials for them so this is pretty much what we're going to need to start out with. So first thing we're going to want to try to make is a... a, we, need a we need somewhere to go. So we put some paper in there make a link panel. You can see I've already got a couple of them, so... <laughs> Dang it, I'm going to need more ink. Maybe not. At any rate, leather and a link panel will make me an unlinked link book. Which is a handy little thing that links us to wherever the heck we want to go. So if I put this in my inventory and right click with it, it will link me to wherever I'm stood and wherever I'm facing. So but if I use this in another dimension, it only works trans-dimensionally, you can't use it within the same dimension. If you go to another world, it works in the nether, it works in the end, it works in, if you're playing with the Twilight Forest mod, you can work within the Twilight Forest as well, and it will take you to wherever you came from. So if I had gone, and then I went over to the nether, I could go, boop, jump through the book, and it would take me right back to here at this spot in the world. We can also make a descriptive book, but the descriptive book is where we need our book binder for. So we need our leather, we need one there, and we need to pop our link panel in there. And if we had anything to write, all the writing would go in here and we'd produce lots of pages and wrap it all up as one destination. But we don't, so this is just going to be completely random. A one-way ticket as the achievement tells us. So once we go through that, there is genuinely no way back. So I'm going to find a place to this where would be a good place to keep this let's just pop it here for now got a descriptive book goes in there so our link book which is unlinked we should probably make a 
habit of making sure we've got one of these. So there we go. This is linked here. This is actually, if I go through this, it will bring me back here, which is a very good thing because I want to be able to get back here. The last thing you want is to end up in another dimension with no way back because you genuinely, honest to God, can get stuck in another world. And that's not a nice place to be. Tell you what, just because I'm feeling absolutely terrified, I'm going to make another one. In fact, can I make another one? I don't think I... I have no leather! I cannot make another one! Oh dear. Well, I just have to be very damn careful with my other one, or I'm likely to never find my way home ever again. Yes, that could be a problem. So, we can head through this book, we can, if you right click on it, oh indeed, oh this, this is new, I've not seen that before, it tells us who wrote the book clearly. And we can click on the panel and it will take us through to some exotic new land, and then the likes of which has never been seen before. And then we've got a link book and a nice place to put a link book on the other side. And because I'm terrified of what I might find, I'm going to put all my gear on as well. And a health potion on the bar, maybe? Because there could be all sorts of nasties on the other side, who knows? But we are going through. This is our first world, Age 1. Normally they would be called Age 1, this just appears to be called Descriptive Book. But we can go through to, apparently, the Alps. Once everything pops into existence around us, there we go, once the game's decided what it wants to do. Let's get some torches down so I can actually see what's happening here. And normally my initial strategy would be to build a little bit of a shelter here and put the book here. Normally I'd try and bring two linking books basically. But let's just call this world a write-off because I don't know whether I'm going to want it or not and just carry my link book with me I think. So let's go for a wander, see what we found. I like the sky, green stars. So we've got checkerboard pattern biomes, clearly. Look at the, look at the mini-map, for crying out loud. So we've got icy hills and alps, I guess, is the two biomes that are forming a checkerboard pattern here. It's cool. It doesn't look too hostile, which is definitely a plus in my book. I'm okay with this. Oh no, oh no, the spiders. Of course the spiders. It's always spiders. There are cows, and I want leather, so I'm going to farm them. So somewhere around, somewhere reasonably near the spawn, though not guaranteed to be within eyesight of it at all, there should be like a little stone temple kind of thing, which is kind of what I want to find, really. Uh, so I'm going to wander around and try and hunt for this. I don't know where it is, so it's gonna, I'm just going to have to look for it. Oh god. Oh, this is going well, isn't it? Yikes. Running out of food and health and... I'm surrounded by creepy crawlies. Oh, good. Oh, dear. Oh, oh. This may be one of those jobs where you end up having to... Duck in... What are these things? These, these trees are made of ice. This has only just dawned on me. The trees are made of ice. What the heck? How is that a thing? What, is, what sort of thing creates to ice trees? Oh, God. Back off, will ya? I have no idea where I came into the world now. I was trying to find my way back to the light. So that, you know, I might be safe, but... Okay, there's a skeleton wanting to shoot me off over there. There's my light. I wonder if I... I wonder if I can... No, I'm not going to be able to sleep anywhere, am I? I didn't bring a bed, for starters. Some dimensions, the time doesn't elapse. And I'm concerned that this may be the case here. I'm not sure if the stars are moving or not. Don't think they are. Ooh, hi Ian, thank you. So it could be a perpetual night world. There's all sorts of things going on here, and I'm trying to divine what they are just by traveling around, seeing what I can find. Really, for the most part. So we know what biomes it is. We know it's checkerboard. We know I don't know how ice trees form, but I assume there's some combination of things in the world that could create ice trees. Ice trees! That's amazing. I love that. When it comes to writing my own worlds, I want to be able to make ice trees at will, because that just seems so cool. Is this what I'm looking for? I don't think it is. That's just an icy hill, isn't it? Uh, whoa! Whoa, what? Why are there snowmen wild? There are wild snowmen here. There are wild snowmen all over the place. Is that, ter is that because the landscape's made of snow and terrain generations popped a bunch of pumpkins on them, or... Is this genuinely a feature of the world, that you can get wild snowmen? 
because that's pretty cool. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie. I like that a lot. So I'm trying to find the building is called the library. Can I find it on here? No. No, I can't. That's more minimap goodness, which gives me an overview of the world. So there should be a big square stone building somewhere that really stands out. It should be really obvious because it's on a background that isn't all big and square and stone. It tends to be a bit obvious, that kind of thing. Got a gold zombie over there. I don't want to deal with him. Although, you know, gold can't be that tough. The creeper on the hill. As... Is that just, that's just snow, isn't it? That looked like eyes peering out of the grass at me. I was like, what's staring? Something is staring at me. I don't like it. No. Okay. Uh, I really want to find this library before I head home because the libraries are bloody key to making this whole thing work. You either need to be... You can make it work without libraries, but they're going to be the main source of getting pages and new content for Miscraft. So each time you head into a new world, you really want to be looking for one of these buildings. Oh, thank God it's morning. Good, time does elapse. We've got a white sunrise as well. That's really something else, actually. That's quite stunning. I like that. Green stars, oh, green and red stars. In fact, the red stars weren't that obvious. Green and red stars, a white sunrise, or indeed sunset probably as well. The same color probably affects both. Sky. We have a coloured sky, because if we had a coloured sky, that'd be really cool. I like this world. This is a good first world. We've got a library yet. I'm still not seeing it. Ah, I'm going through my I'm going through my apples at an alarming rate. I may need to plunder the local population of cows for their flesh. Oh, there it is. I see it. Yes, big stone building. Duh. Actually, bla <laughs> For all my, it should be obvious. It kind of blended into the mountain a bit, actually. Hi! Ow. Didn't really want that to happen. But I survived it. Okay. It's vanished again now. Where is it gone? Is it behind the hill? It must be behind the hill. Let's head over here. Come on. Hey, snowmen. Oh, that's really cool. I like the snowmen. So bizarre, but awesome at the same time. Hello, there we go. Big cobblestone building. Ugly as sin, but it's what we're here for. I think sometimes you can find two, but I think that's fairly rare. So here we go. This is our... I guess we need to get up to it, don't we? Um, big X time. So that is the front up there, isn't it? So it's good for getting other resources here. I mean, if I wanted some coal, there's a bunch of coal there. You can get different... Different worlds have resources in different quantities. Sometimes... Sometimes you'll have loads of stuff, sometimes you won't have much. And it's going to be pitch black in there, so I'm going to throw a torch down. And hope nothing's going to jump on me. No? Good. Good. That's what I wanted. So, make sure we're well lit. Good. Yes. Okay. This is our first page. Our first page of the game is Desert Biome. Okay, cool. Next page is Kelp Forest. Cool. And the next page is Garden. Cool, I guess. Sure. So is this it? Is this all we get? No! Ha <laughs> ha Time to rip out some bookshelves. Yep, there we go. In one of these corners, either that corner or that corner, it's random, you will have a chance of getting a whole stash of stuff. I'm going to need to dump some stuff here to make this work. Right, what do I not need anymore? Uh, probably not the snowballs. Um, yikes. What have we got for starters? We've got Arctic, Swampland, Nether Quartz Ore, yes! Normal weather. More normal weather, I don't need two normal weathers, surely. Natural fog colour, yeah. And I need to make room for two more things. Hmm. Lectins are very irreplaceable, string is not really critical. There we go! That's the pages. I could stand to pick up some of these books just as an aside, simply because I actually want an enchanting table back home that's nice and powerful. Just so that everything can be awesome, but I've been missing books so far, because I've been trying to save the pages for actually Mistcraft and not turning them into... As well, as well as the leather as well, for that matter. I just didn't want to turn them all into bookshelves. But th these, these libraries are a very readily available source of books. So indeed, if you've got Silk Touch, you can just 
pull the bookshelf straight out, but I don't have that yet. And there goes my... well, at least it gives me some more room. There goes my axe. I got, I got two stacks of books. Could I possibly use more books? I could possibly use more books. Uh, sticks. Sticks are very replaceable. There we go. So I've got... that oh, was only nine extra ones. Uh, you, you come down with me as well. Might as well. Keep it lit up. Now, that's really as much as the world actually literally has to offer. Unless you wish to start mining or living here or constructing something, this is really as much as any random world's going to offer you. You need to find the library, find what's in the library, and get home. Sometimes that's easier said than done. Sometimes you might just want to hightail it over there without the library. But sometimes you might create a really nice world that you want to stay in forever and ever and ever and live there and be happy and procreate and whatnot. But not today. Today is not that day. Today I'm going to put my link book on here and head back to the overworld, cl click on the page. We pop back exactly where I crafted my link book. Ain't that nice? So there's our first little excursion and I've got all these pages. Now, what I could use is some way to store all the pages. So what we really need to do is to make a notebook. So let's have a look in here and see how we make one of those. A notebook is crafted out of three leather. And it's a dang fine job we just picked up a bunch from those cows, otherwise I might have had to go kill some of my pet cows over in the farm. There we go. Got a notebook. And this will just let us hold all the pages we could ever possibly want. Which is great. And can we put link panels in there as well? We can. Oh good. That's wonderful. So from there we should be able to create many, many more books. Oh wait. <laughs> Hang on, picking up your notebook while you're using your notebook. Drops your notebook. Good to know. So that is just about Mistcraft Basics. That is creating your first world in Mistcraft. So we shall be delving further into the mysteries of Mistcraft in the future, but for now you know how to make your first world. And that's been a lot of fun. So thank you very much for watching, and we'll be exploring deeper into the world of Mistcraft next time.